Hi guys and welcome to another one. This is going to be a gardening tutorial so let's get on and start explaining some of this. First of all you'll need to come to the compost. I would recommend that you compost OEs because they're the cheapest material that you can actually compost. If you've got any other materials I'd sell them on the marketplace. Buy OEs and compost them. So let's get on to the next stage. So now we're at the harvesting station. What you want to be doing is crafting as many of these compost heaps as possible. What you'll mainly get is concentrated compost and plant seed recipes out of this one. Quality compost heap, you will get mainly concentrated compost, but you'll all get also get moonlight temper and alchemy plant seeds. And what we'll do is quickly say the same for this. You get seed recipes but you also get cookie must now this is super rare to get cookie must and you'll need a lot of it for end game so let's get on to the gardening table we're at the gardening bench so what you want to be doing is crafting 50 water sponges 50 lava sponges 50 chocolate sponges and 50 plasma sponges because you'll need these when you get to gardener and this is just to craft some watering cans to help you water your plants. So after you've crafted some watering cans, what you want to be doing is crafting as many quabbage seeds and unicorn chard seeds as possible because it will help you in the upcoming tiers. The same goes for here. You should be crafting as many of these when you break into green thumb because it will help you on the next tier. Same here. Craft these and it will take you to, into the top tier. But I'd also like to start pointing out that what you want to start to be doing with these is start crafting some of these because what you'll get out of this is quality organic refuse. And the top tiers, do, do these if you want just for your food for yourself. But what you want to start to be looking into doing is crafting a lot of these, which is the evolving alchemy plant seeds. Now you can craft any of these, but I wouldn't recommend it because it does start getting really expensive. So craft your evolving alchemy seeds and plant them, water them, start harvesting them. This will give you superior organic refuse. So I've got some top tier plants here. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly harvest this. As you can see, I'm getting some superior organic refuse off these. And of course, when you have harvested, Go ahead and water them, water those plants again. So now we move on to planting and watering. I would recommend that you do something like this, a 3x3. Three three with a thing there, because I'll show you what goes on. If you're using Instagrows, you can Instagrow all this area. You can actually do a little bit beyond it, but it is best to do it like this because when your plants are ready to be watered and you use a golden watering can, if you step on the middle and press the direction key and hold it, you can instantly water all these bun feeders from zero to five with your golden watering can. But if you're using a regular watering can, I'll just show you, do the same, press and hold the direction. It will go up one level. So you'll need to water this plant five days in a row so you can harvest it at the end. Let's just quickly do the others. You can also do this with the store item of, have I got it on? Yes, I've got the watering tractor on. So we'll water them. 
and you'll have to come back like say every 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 day water your plants and then you can get on to harvesting so by now you should know how to get your organic refuge your quality refuse and your superior refuse but i'd also like to point out that you can get quality refuse from deconstructing like this bun feed and cinnamon stuff like that that you can do but well, that's up to you if you want to do that or just can continue doing your farming so what we'll quickly do now is craft 37 of these and what we'll we'll have a look at see what we get out of them so we'll just open these up and see how many cookie musts we get and the bubble pod seeds you can only put on your cornerstone i will say that but they don't take long to pop so you can get the bubble pods to throw like a piñata as you can see there we didn't get a lot of cookie must and what do you need cookie must for it is alloy habitats now these will give you rarely an alloy and very very rarely a rare alloy and another thing that you need cookie must for is building these two mounts i would say buy them off the market but i don't think there's any on the market at all but you do need them for them two mounts as well anyway guys that has been a really quick guide on what you should be doing with gardening i hope it's helped if i've missed anything please let me know in the comment section and i will get get round to putting it right but i think i've gone through everything which is cookie must and all how to get the superior organic refuse etc i would say that gardening it's a money pit i have spent millions on it to get the rare alloys and make habitats and everything but it's up to you if you want to do it don't forget about your badges as well i have said this numerous times in the club with people starting out in gardening and saying that they they ain't got no watering cans or whatever get on and grind them because you do need to water your plants and harvest them compost items and everything for all your badges for extra mastery so i really hope that this, this little guide has helped anyway guys that's about that let's wrap this one up and as always, stay safe, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.